So you've just parked your car and now you're thinking, is it good enough for the winter? Or do I need to take some extra steps to ensure that the car stays in pristine condition, visually and mechanically as well? Stay tuned and we'll go over some of the things that you absolutely have to do and some that are just good things to do when parking the car for long term. So now that you've parked your car, do consider some things before finally declaring that this is the spot that the car is going to stay over the course of the winter. You want to make sure that you're not blocking any accesses. You don't leave anything in the car that you might have to retrieve later. The first thing that everyone should do on their cars is give the car a good wash. Make sure there's no bug splatter, there's no grime on the paint itself. And once you've washed the car, you do want to protect it with either a good quality wax or if your car is ceramic coated, just give it a good wash and dry it off. You don't want any moisture remaining in the car. Make sure it's dry. It's a good thing to do to have a cover on the car, but you want a cover that is breathable, not something that's going to trap moisture inside because moisture is the biggest enemy when it comes to engine components or the tires as well. So now that you have washed the car, now before you put a cover on it, there are some essential steps that need to be taken in order to ensure the car remains mechanically good. So you might have heard after a long term storage, someone went to start the car and it didn't start or it didn't run well. And they said the gas was bad. That happens because of moisture. The best way to deal with that is to have a full tank of gas. I know it sounds like, oh, if the gas goes bad, why do I want more? If you leave your tank halfway empty, there's space for air to be in the tank and air has moisture and moisture causes corrosion and that could lead to corrosion inside your tank that could lead to corrosion in your fuel lines and also the injectors and i'm pointing in the front as if the engine's there right there um, so yeah full tank of gas and you do want to put some sort of fuel stabilizer as long as you're putting in the right quantity of the fuel stabilizer after you do a full tank of gas, that's going to save your tank itself and also the fuel lines and the injectors. Now, the third thing is the engine oil itself. I've heard about cars that some people say the best way is to drain the oil completely, have fresh oil before winterizing and some go like coming right out of winterization. That's when you want fresh oil. And I don't consider myself an expert but I do want to put some common sense to it. Oil has anti-corrosion properties, which over time, as the oil gets used up, deteriorates. So the best way to mitigate that is to have fresh oil. Now, if you're, you just got an oil change 2000 miles ago, you're, you're still good. The oil is still good. It didn't completely use through or burn through all the additives that help fight corrosion. So you don't need to do an oil change if you still got five, six thousand miles more to go. If your reading on the car says 20% oil life remaining, sure, go ahead and do an oil change. That's the best thing. But if it shows anything, 60, 70, 80, 50% oil life is remaining, your oil is good. That's going to have all the anti-corrosion properties that you need. Gravity is going to push all the oil to the bottom. So now comes the debate of Oh, if it's going to, if gravity is going to push it all the way down, why don't I start it every now and then? That's the, that's even worse do, doing that. If you're not going to drive the car, once you sh turn off the car, because all the components couldn't get up to the temperatures that as if you were driving the car, when they start cooling down, that's going to form condensation. You leave a piece of metal outside over overnight and in the morning it didn't rain but 
still in the morning you're going to see heel built up around it that's exactly what's going to ha happen in the engine if you just continue starting it every now and then and not driving it the next thing I would recommend looking into is going to be the tires. You thinking that it's going to rot just by sitting for f four months, that's not going to happen. If they're parked inside, outside of sunlight and the humidity isn't crazy, your tires are going to be fine. Now, the next thing people worry about, and that's why they put the car on jack stands, is flat spots. I bought a truck recently from, and no, it's a 2025, and I bought it couple months ago and it's uh november right now when i bought it so it hadn't been sitting for very long and when i went to drive it it had that vibration that it will it got a flat spot now once i aired up the tires to what it was supposed to be and drove on the highway for five miles it was gone it's not a big deal if you get a flat spot yes if your tire pressure is low and your car sits on that flat spot for a prolonged period of time, yes, it could get permanent. But what I would recommend doing is instead of trying to put the car in jack stands or taking the wheels off and putting some temporary wheels on the side of the tire, you will see the maximum PSI. Not the recommended, but the maximum PSI. And for this tire, it is never inflate beyond 40 psi so 40 psi for the front the rear is 40 psi as well go ahead and fill these up to 40 psi now one big thing is once it starts getting colder and colder you do want to keep coming back to check the tires your app is not going to update the tire pressures on the car because it has to be driving so come back check the tires make sure they're again up to 40 psi and then that's it that's all the care your tires are going to need the last and absolutely essential is the battery the batteries don't like cold weather and the batteries don't like prolonged periods of not being charged back up so you're not going to be driving the car the battery's not going to charge i have personally got the battery maintenance thing from gm and you just want something high quality there are others that you can buy off of ebay uh, off of amazon I'm, I'm sure as long as they're good reviews they're they're going to be just fine this is one of the most essential so number one is going to be the fuel number two is going to be the battery once spring hits you're going to start it it's going to start up everything else is just to make it make sure it looks pristine and stays pristine but these two things are if you don't do it you're gonna have a bad day coming into spring. I hope you learned something from this video and helps you prepare for winterizing the car. Um, if you did find this valuable, go ahead and hit the like button and let us know in the comments if I missed out anything. And I would go ahead and pin that comment so that other viewers can see as well. Thank you for watching guys, take care, have a good one.